Alright, I'm going to show you how to create an action using Photoshop to kind of automate some of the numerous steps that you do on a normal basis. So, first thing you want to do, if you don't already see the actions palette over to the right, you can go up to Window and click Actions, and that'll bring up the palette. And for me, of course, it took it away. So, there we go. Actions palette is up. <clears throat> so, the first step is to create a new action, and I'll show you the icon. It's right here at the bottom of the actions palette. It says Create New Action. Click on that. Zoom back out. Okay, so now it brings up what we want to title it. I'm going to call this one black and white. And I want it to go into my default actions folder. That's what this means. Of course, you have, for me, I have plenty of other folders. I like actions. So um, the next step is if you want to apply a function key, a key that you might hit to uh, do an action that you commonly use. Now, black and white is something I commonly use, so I'm going to go ahead and hit F5. Uh, and it'll be command plus F5. That's because I'm already using F5 for another um, shortcut. So, click record. Now, you're going to see the little rec record, zoom in a little bit, record button there. Uh, it's red. It's showing whatever you're doing now, it's going to record it. So, what I want to do is flip to my history palette. That way, I can make sure that it's actually getting the, the correct, um, the correct rendition of what I'm doing. So I'm going to go through this black and white tutorial pretty fast. If you want to learn more about the black and white tutorial, I have it posted as well um, in the Photoshop tutorials on our forum. So anyways, very quickly here, image, mode, lab color. I like to talk to myself, of course. And now I'm done. So click back on the actions palette there and hit stop, which is right next to the record. All right, so now I've done that. Now to check that it worked, of course, what you want to do is go to your history palette, go all the way back up and click on your original image, go back to your actions palette. And if you used a um, command to, to do that, you can go ahead and hit that command. If not, you can click on it, highlight it, and then click play down here at the bottom. So I click play, and now in high hyperspeed it should go to black and white which it did now I can go back to my history palette and make sure it did all the steps that I wanted it to do and it did of course so now I'm done and that's all there is to it um, lots and lots of ways to add actions and there's plenty of websites and things like that that you can go to that um, other people have created actions that are pretty neat um, that you can just load into that and to do that by the way next to your actions palette there's this icon right here zoom in a little bit click on that gives you all these options. It's, it's basically your action options. Um, and you can go down to load actions. And when you click that, it will let you choose wherever you put them. Um, so make sure when you save them, you kind of keep them in uh, organized way so you can find them later. So and that's all there is to it.